Crest Mold Gel Coat 15PA is a vinyl ester based tooling gel coat with excellent gloss retention and heat and chemical resistance. It is available in both brush and spray versions. Crest Mold Gel Coat 15PAS should be sprayed in long, even, vertical and horizontal passes, starting with a mist coat and then building up thicknesses in passes of 100 to 150 microns until a total thickness of 600 to 800 microns is achieved. The recommended catalyst is Catalyst M, which should be added at 2%. At 20 degrees centigrade, Crestamold Gel Coat 15PAS is ready to be backed up in less than one hour. Once Crestamold Gel Coat 15PAS has cured, start laying the dry reinforcement. For moulds where a high quality surface finish is required, a surface veil can be used to improve the surface finish and reduce print through. Ensure that reinforcement conforms tightly to the shape of the mould, especially in the radii, to minimise bridging during the infusion. Using an infusion suitable spray adhesive can help keep reinforcement secured in place on vertical surfaces. If required, core materials can be used to increase mould stiffness and thickness without adding excessive weight. Ensure that reinforcement conforms tightly to the shape of the mould, especially in the radii, to minimise bridging during the infusion. Using an infusion suitable spray adhesive can help keep reinforcement secured in place on vertical surfaces. Apply tacky tape to the perimeter of the mould. It is important that the mould surface is clean before doing so, otherwise you will not achieve an airtight seal. Lay peel ply and flow mesh. Positioning of these materials will vary depending on the size and shape of the mould and the infusion strategy used. Lay spiral tubing for the resin inlet and vacuum outlet. Positioning will vary depending on the size and shape of the mould and the infusion strategy used. Apply through bag connectors. Apply vacuum bag to the tacky tape. Use pleats to give plenty of excess bagging over shaped areas and radii in the mould to minimise bridging. Pull vacuum and check thoroughly for any air leaks. Once the system has been sealed, it is recommended to carry out a drop test to ensure a perfect vacuum has been achieved. Acoustic Vinyl Ester Resin VE6793PA is an infusion grade DCPD modified vinyl ester resin which significantly reduces the occurrence of print through, producing durable mouldings with a superior surface finish. Insert the resin inlet tube. The recommended catalyst for Christic Vinyl Ester Resin, VE6703PA, is Baycat CHP75, which should be added at 2%. Standard MEKP type catalysts will cause the resin to gas and the bubbles will then be introduced into the final part. Infuse the resin. At 20 degrees centigrade, the gel time of Christic Vinyl Ester Resin, VE6790-3PA, with 2% Baycat CHP75 is approximately 2 hours. Gel time will vary at different temperatures and catalyst levels, so these factors need to be considered before infusing to ensure gel time is long enough to fully wet out the reinforcement. For optimum properties, best surface finish and long-term performance, it is recommended to leave the mould to cure under vacuum overnight at a minimum temperature of 20 degrees centigrade and then oven cure for 16 hours at 40 degrees centigrade before demoulding. After post-curing, allow the mould to cool to room temperature and then demould from the plug. For extra strength or localised bracing, a stiffener can be bonded to the backside of the mould. Our Crestabond M1 structural adhesives are ideal for bonding dissimilar substrates, in this case GRP to steel, in this type of application. Crestabond M130 has a 30 minute working time at 24 degrees centigrade and a fixture time of 60 to 80 minutes. After trimming and finishing the mould, apply a suitable mould cleaner, followed by a mould sealer, and then a semi-permanent release agent. The mould is now complete and ready to be used.